Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu salamu wa rasulullah. We continue reading from Imam Ghazali's kitab, Sharh Haji Abil Qalb, The Marvels of the Heart. Book, this is book 21 of Ihya Alub al-Din, The Revival of the Religious Sciences of the Islamic Sciences. This is translated by Walter James Skill. We have reached chapter 8, an exposition of the difference between general inspiration, ilham, and learning, ta'allum, and the difference between the Sufi way of seeking the unveiling of reality and the way of the speculative theologians, al-Nuvar. Sometimes speculative uh, theologian is a translation of uh, the equivalent of mutakallimun. بيان الفرق بين الإلهام والتعلم والفرق بين طرق الطريق الصوفية في استكشاف الحق وطريق النظار Know that the sciences that are not axiomatic <coughs> but which come into the heart at certain times differ in their manner of attainment Sometimes they come upon the heart as though something were flung into it from a source it knows not. At other times they are gained through deduction and study. That which is not attained by way of acquisition nor through artful proof is called general inspiration, ilham. I'm inclined to use um, occurs rather than attained because ilham, ilham is uh, the inspiration if this is really the um, There is no active uh, pursuit of uh, ilham the way it is in the case of uh, studying, for example. And that which is attained through inference is called reflection, etibar, and mental perception. Furthermore, that which exists in the heart apart from some expedient or cunning or effort on the part of man is subdivided into two classes. In the first, the servant is not aware how he achieved it, nor whence. Again, achieved it, that's... Uh, that's a problematic translation, of course, because he does not achieve. How it took place. It's not about achieving. Okay. Let's start with the furthermore, that which exists in the heart, that which exists in the heart. Al-Waqi'u Fil-Qalb That which basically Of course it exists in the heart But how it exists Waqa'a Fil-Qalb In the uh, in, in a reference to uh, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq Waqara Fil-Sadr Okay Apart from some expedient or cunning or effort on the part of man is subdivided into two classes. In the first, the servant is not aware how he achieved it again. This is not real. Really, as we said, cannot be a matter of uh, achievement. Nor whence. 
The second, he is acquainted with the secondary cause. from which he has derived the knowledge. Which is the vision of the angel who casts it into his heart. The former is called general inspiration and in breathing into the heart Okay There's a difference between Because here the transliteration nafth nafth which is correct the transliteration firrawa okay uh, arrawa is al faza fear So it cannot be the accurate uh, uh, concept here. No. So the it should be, uh, to my knowledge, it should be rule. And the transliteration would be rather than uh, R A W, it should be R U. A long vowel and the uh, sign for the Ain. The letter is called prophetic inspiration. Why? And it is an, an exclusive characteristic of the prophets. This is the uh, one can, uh, uh, you know, uh, call to in this um, in this context uh, or read or uh, mention. The uh, hadith uh, in the Ruh al Qudus Nafatha Fi Ru'i in the Ruh al Qudus Nafatha Fi Ru'i. So then, then we talk about Ru'a. نفث في روعي هذا حديث context is about جبريل عليه السلام that no soul will uh, die except that it will complete its uh, assigned time and will uh, consume its uh, sustenance So the uh, so the uh, 
Nafs for Ruwa is uh, called in prophetic inspiration. It's the Wahi. And uh, prophetic inspiration, why not revelation? It is uh, more accurate because inspiration والثاني يسمى وحيا وتختص به الأنبياء okay. if it's really that which, which uh, um, happens to uh, uh, the prophets والثاني يسمى وحيا Where the former is given only to the saints, the awliya and the pure, the asiya, the preceding type which is gained through deduction is that given to the learned, the ulama. The true doctrine is that the heart has the capacity to have revealed in it the true nature of reality in all things but this is prevented by the intervention of the five aforementioned causes these are the these are a veil that hangs down between, between the mirror of the heart and the preserved tablet which is engraved with all that God has decreed until the day of resurrection The reflection of the real nature of knowledge from the mirror of the tablet upon the mirror of the heart is like the reflection of an image from one mirror to another mirror opposite it. The veil between the two mirrors is sometimes removed by the hand and at other times by a gust of wind that moves it. Thus the winds of divine favor sometimes blow and the veils are drawn uh, drawn aside from the eyes of hearts so that there is reflected in them something of that which is written upon the preserved tablet. Sometimes this takes place during sleep and thereby there is revealed that which will come into being in the future. فَيُعْلَمُ بِهِ مَا يَكُونَ Transliterated يُعْلِمْ فَيُعْلِمْ بِهِ There is no subject in فَيُعْلَمْ بِهِ مَا يَكُونَ فِي المستقبل. There is no subject in the Arabic It's, it's passive voice That which will come into being in the future, the veil is completely lifted by death. When the covering is withdrawn, and one uh, can cite in this case that uh, an Imam Ghazali does in, diff in a different context. Uh, that at the moment of uh, of death sight becomes keen from the quran and we have lifted your veil the royal we 
and your sight becomes keen you immediately have a window into the metaphysical uh, world where uh, typically and generally in, in this life you have no access to it at other times inspiration is made during waking hours and the veil is lifted by a secret favor from God the exalted and some of the marvels of knowledge glisten in the heart from behind the curtain of the unknown this may be like a dazzling flash of lightning or it may be continuous up to a certain point but its continuous continuance is most rare inspiration ilham then does not differ from acquisition as regards the knowledge itself its seat and its cause but it differs only in the removal of the veil for this is not accomplished by man's volition of course general inspiration general inspiration does not differ from prophetic inspiration in any of these respects again uh, one should be revelation and the other should be inspiration rather than general inspiration does not differ from prophetic inspiration it's wahi it's revelation but only in the matter of vision of the angel who imparts the knowledge for our hearts attain knowledge only by means of the angels to this the exalted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers in the uh, Quran in the verse and it is not for any human being that God should speak to him except by revelation or from behind a partition or that he sends a messenger to reveal by his permission what he wills وَمَا كَانْ لِبَشَرًا أَنْ يُكَلِّمَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا وَحْيًا أَوْ مِنْ وَرَاءِ حِجَابٍ أَوْ يُرْسِلْ رَسُولًا فَيُوحِي بِإِذْنِهِ مَا يَشَاءٍ أَوْ يُرْسِلْ رَسُولًا فَيُوحِي بِإِذْنِهِ مَا يَشَاءٍ If you have come to know this, know also that the inclination of the Sufis is is toward the knowledge gained through inspiration more than that gained through instruction therefore they do not jealously covet the study of knowledge nor the acquisition of that which authors have written nor discussion about the statement of doctrines and proofs that have been mentioned Elsewhere, remember, as I said, it does say, it does mention uh, the notion that uh, be a faqih before you become a Sufi. Be a faqih, a Sufi, that order rather than a Sufi faqih. Start with fiqh, start with knowledge, start, and, and that kind of knowledge is acquired is uh, achieved by studying but they say the way of knowledge is to put for foremost spiritual striving to abolish blameworthy traits to cut all ties and to advance toward god the exalted with utmost concern to cut all ties it's basically قطع العلائق. Uh, the attachments, the distractions, the attachments. Whenever this takes place, God becomes the ruler over the heart of his creature. And the surety for his illumination with the light of knowledge. When God becomes the ruler of the heart, he floods it with mercy and sheds his light upon it. And the breast is opened and there is revealed to it the secret of the world of spirits 
El Malakut. And by a gift of mercy, there is cleared away from the surface of the heart the veil of here it says it's translated as whiteness hijab al that blinds its eye of the heart and there shines there shines in it the real nature of divine things hijab al and by a gift of mercy there is cleared away from the surface of the heart the veil of whiteness uh, hijab al ghurra it's basically al ghurra al ghurra if we read it al ghurra there is an element there is an element uh, of whiteness, but it's not exclusive. Like in Latin Arabic, we have um, if, it, if we read it, غرة, it includes. Uh, the state of being oblivious and that might be more appropriate rather than whiteness so the first thing the first thing one becomes uh, aware because if you remove whiteness what remains dark dark you know dark colors whatever is the case i think that would be uh, that would be inappropriate in, in the, the context does not warrant veil of whiteness they simply uh, in, in the face of a horse there is some whiteness just a, sp a spot let's say but uh, is more uh, hijab al -ghirra. And in fact it's just like uh, it prepares the heart to um, uh, for the reception of uh, uh, of light and of uh, of knowledge. Inshallah, this is sufficient for uh, this session, and uh, we'll uh, continue still with the uh, with this chapter, with chapter eight. We'll complete it, and we'll we'll see, inshallah, uh, if we could go beyond chapter 8 in the next session until then subhanakallah wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh